All right, so this is our single leg squat into three different planes of motion. Uh, the purpose of this exercise is to really just fatigue and work uh, the standing leg hip muscle, which is like the glute, uh, things like that, a little bit of the groin as well. Um, so we're essentially gonna do three different planes of motion um, consecutively. Um, you can do, it, do this for the amount of reps prescribed. You can play around with different uh, rep, rep ranges. Uh, but I'll show you 10 reps and then we can uh, prescribe that differently over time. So essentially what you're gonna do is it's gonna be like a skater squat. So when, when, we, when we say that, you wanna think about loading more of the hip than the knee. You're still loading the knee, you're still bending and squatting, but it's almost like you're thinking about hinging more. You really wanna think about sitting into your hip like you're sitting into a chair behind you, okay? So well, I'll show you different planes of motion, but the first one is just gonna be straight behind you. So I want you to think about just kinda Sitting into your hip, bringing your leg through, sit into your hip, bring your leg through, sit into your hip and your knee. As I sit into my hip, you should feel a good little stretch on the outer hip, on the standing leg. So this is just right behind my body. I'm gonna go for a certain amount of reps, so I'm gonna go about 10 in this video. After going right behind you, now you're gonna go 45 degrees towards like the plane of your ear. So you're kind of, again, kind of reaching out. And I, as you can see, I'm using my hands to help control my body. And you're also gonna feel more of a stretch and you just feel more coordinated, right? As human beings, we're always using our hands, our, our arms, especially when we're moving in athletics. So right now I'm starting to feel my left hip starting to fatigue. And as we do this, you want to think about controlling your knee. So you don't. You want to think about your knee staying in line with your foot, not allow it to shift too much in space. So I'll kind of show you from the front as I finish this round. So we're really challenging your balance, your coordination, your stability. So we went backwards. We went to the to the 45 degrees the outside. Now we're going kind of around and behind us, like curtsy. So I'll kind of show you from this view. You're gonna reach kind of long and behind you. You're gonna feel a good stretch in your outer hip. Come back around. You don't have to lock out the knee, you can keep it soft. So this is really, really tough. Cause now we're moving in motions that we're not used to, but we should be trained because these are all different positions that we see ourselves in as we walk, stand, do stairs. And so my left hip is very fatigued right now just because of the amount of work I've had to do to stabilize my body weight. And I did 30 repetitions. So um, that is our triplanar uh, single leg squats, but really working on fatiguing and sitting into your hip pocket.